This is a guide for Muslim women who are looking to build a solid hijab wardrobe. In this video, I will show you some of the most awesome hijab materials that every Muslim sister needs. I'll share with you the best hijab brands and a few of the other tips that will be helpful for you when you're trying to build a good hijab wardrobe from scratch as a new hijabi. I'll share with you how to find the right hijabs to fit your lifestyle and the right hijabs for your personality. Salam, I'm Veronica Adali. I'm a river to Islam, a founder of a modest activewear brand, a content creator, a wife, and a mom. I share my life and business journey as a Muslim woman living in New Zealand. My mission is simple help Muslim women to embrace modesty and hijab while following their true passion. I create content to boost self-confidence, mindset, and lift your spirit so you can successfully balance faith, career, and motherhood. Subscribe for inspiration, motivation, and lots of laughter, all from a Muslim woman's perspective. I believe that it's always important to have a variety of hijabs to work with, not too few, not too many, so you can always find the perfect one for any occasion. Let's start with the essentials. Um, you want to start wearing the hijab? You need hijabs, but not only hijabs, you also need things like hijab pins and undercaps. When I first put my hijab on, I didn't have neither the pins nor the undercams, so I had to work with what I had, which was another headscarf, and I wrapped it underneath my hijab to give me extra coverage, and I hoped and prayed that my sincere commitment to my faith and my power of will <laughs> will keep my hijab on. It stayed on just because it wasn't a windy day, alhamdulillah. My very first hijab undercap was this one. You put it on and it has these little ties at the back that you tie underneath your bun. And these are very, very popular in Turkey, for example, because um, they came from my mother-in-law. <laughs> so when I told my mother-in-law that I need undercaps or something of sorts, uh, she gave me hers. So she gave me this one and this one, two undercaps. And this these undercaps is what I had at the very beginning. And I wore them for a few weeks at the very beginning of my hijab journey. Do they work? Yes, they were. <laughs> um, are they comfortable? Not for me. I I hated wearing them. They, in my opinion, are the worst undercaps you can find. I don't know, maybe it was the fear of me losing my hijab to the elements. I would tie these really tight around my head and around my bun. Um, and of course, that gave me a headache every single day and my ears didn't handle it well either. After suffering for a few weeks wearing these undercaps, I decided that enough was enough and I needed to find something better. And of course, I went down the rabbit hole of YouTube and found a lot of amazing hijabis and they were recommending tube undercaps. So I went on eBay and I got myself four undercaps. <laughs> All the essentials, I got the white, the black, the brown and the gray. Um, I actually still have the brown undercap. It's very stretched out. This is that one of those undercaps that I got seven years ago. <laughs> it Look, it's very stretched out. I don't know how I missed it because all of these <laughs> undercaps are now rags um, or already, you know, gone, gone for good. Uh, but yeah, this undercap was one of them. I got it off eBay. And I do find them to be very durable. They did last for about six years. I don't wear this one anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I love them. And um, even to this day, tube undercaps are my favorite type of caps. Uh, this is the one that I've got recently. Why do I love them so much? Is because they 
are stretchy and they are soft and they're cotton um, and they don't hurt my ears and they don't give me a headache and they stay on. I find that this material doesn't slip and they, they stay on all day. Of course, when they wear out and they become stretched out like this, they do slip, they don't stay in place, but that's when you know it's your time to get another one. But I feel like they do last pretty well. So earlier this year, I did purchase some new tube undercaps. I got this one and I got the brown one that I'm wearing right now um, because these are the colors that I wear the most. So I just stuck to them. I also have this white undercap, which is probably one of my favorite undercaps. It's a superior version of the tube undercaps. Um, it's a little bit longer at the back, gives you that extra coverage over your bun. It also has this elastic bit at the back to make it even softer and stretchier. It's not cotton, it's bamboo, which is just even a softer material. And it's by Lala Hijabs, one of my favorite, favorite hijab brands. So I really, really love this tube undercap for the comfort of it. Um, it's just, it's the best, honestly, my favorite. I got these undercaps from Lilith. Um, I'm gonna tag, leave the links in the description below. This one is from Lala Hijabs, uh, which I absolutely love. I actually have a discount code. If you want to take advantage of that, you can type Veronica 10 uh, before you check out and you'll receive 10% off. I will also leave my affiliate link in the description below if you find that easier. But yeah, this is my favorite undercap in terms of the breathability and comfort. And this one is great because um, it's, it's cotton and it's a little bit firmer, which I absolutely love as well. This is comfortable as well. So yeah, highly recommend both. There is one more type of undercap that I use occasionally, and it's a ninja undercap. This undercap gives you full coverage around your hair and neck. So if you prefer to wear loose hijab styles that are very flowy, but you still need that coverage, you wear ninja undercaps. And this is probably the best <laughs> ninja undercap you can find on the market. I personally use ninja undercaps when I do hijab tutorials on camera, just so I can get proper coverage around my neck and hair uh, before I put the hijab on. So I do use it. I don't use it as much because I do prefer the tube um, undercap uh, so that my neck is open because the way I wear hijab, um, I like it to be secure. Um, I don't really like flowy hijab styles. I don't have the patience for them and I don't like fussing with them and fixing them throughout the day. So um, I prefer to wear something that is very solid. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really need to wear ninja undercaps because everything is already covered by the hijab styles that I choose to wear. So yeah, uh, but this one's also very, very comfortable. It's very soft at the back. Um, and the cool twist that this undercap has is it has silk lining. So we as hijabis, because our hair is always covered and it's always in the bun, so there's always a little bit of pulling. Um, we really need to take good care of our hair, otherwise we have problems uh, with our hair because of the friction. If we're not wearing an undercap, um, we can get um, a lot of friction on, on the top of our head here and that causes our hair to break. So yeah, having a silk lining really protects your hair so uh, I wouldn't wear a ninja undercap without the silk lining ever so yeah it's definitely it's definitely worth the investment once again this is bamboo this is extra breathable um, and I absolutely love it once again this is from Lala Hijabs and I will link them in the description 
below. So if you know that you're wearing flowy hijab styles, um, a ninja undercap would be your best friend. I also believe that you only need about two undercaps at the very beginning. Even now, seven years into my hijab journey, I have four um, and that's the absolute maximum. Uh, but you only you only need two. So you can wear one while the other one's on the wash or, you know, how you want to coordinate with your colors and how you want to wear the hijab. I usually wear my undercaps that in a way that they're hidden. You can't really see them. So the color doesn't matter. Um, but if you like to color match your undercaps, then you probably need more. Uh, but at the very beginning, you can always invest in just a black one and a white one, and you'll be good for a while. Let's talk about hijab pins. For the longest time, I would only go for safety pins and straight pins, and I hated both. Do they do the job? Yes, they do. Do they cause a lot of other problems? Oh yes, they definitely do. Safety pins are notorious for making holes in your hijabs. They snag, they ruin your hijabs, and it just causes them to wear out a lot quicker. As for the straight pins, they're a safety hazard. I am a mom of two, and I absolutely hate using straight pins because if you drop one it's guaranteed you'll never find it <laughs> it will find you when you least expect it so i really didn't want to play with fire there so i decided to stop using them but at the very beginning if you only have access to safety pins and straight pins to secure your hijabs by all means do what you need to do but you can also upgrade as soon as you get an opportunity. And let's talk more about that. A better alternative for a safety pin would be a pin like this one. It works. It works the same as a safety pin, but without making holes in your hijab because the way it's designed, it won't snag on the fabric whenever you're trying to take it off. So you pin it and then you can tuck this bit inside the hijab so you can't see it. Um, I've actually never had pins like this. I picked up one in Turkey uh, just to have it in case. Um, yeah, but you can find them on places like eBay, AliExpress, um, Amazon. Amazon has everything, so they'll probably have pins like these. They're great. Um, they work just fine um, and they don't ruin your hijab. So that's a better alternative to a safety pin. And of course, my favorite way to secure my hijabs, um, hijab magnets. I use hijab magnets to secure my hijabs 100% of the time now. I use hijab magnets to secure my hijabs under the chin. And I also, for a different style that I wear, I use a hijab magnet to secure it around here. I've made an entire video where I show you how I secure my hijab with just hijab magnets. I'm going to leave it over here so you can check it out. Um, but I feel like they are very, very handy. They're very strong. You can pin through multiple layers of fabric and they work amazingly well so um, I've been loving using hijab magnets I only have two pairs and I found that's all I need I completely got rid of all of the safety pins and straight pins um, and I only use magnets now let's move on to hijabs and hijab materials I personally believe that every hijabi needs a couple of jersey hijabs in her wardrobe jersey hijabs like this one Jersey hijabs are made of a very lightweight jersey fabric that is super soft, super stretchy, and very easy to style. I wear jersey hijabs almost every single day for casual wear especially, just because of the look that they give me. I promise you that every beginner hijabi can handle a jersey hijab. At the very beginning, when I started to wear the hijab seven years ago, I didn't have any jersey hijabs. I didn't even know they existed. And maybe I just didn't have access to them. So yes, but I now looking back, I wish that I did because of how low maintenance they are. And if I were a brand new hijabi today and I knew that jersey hijabs did exist, I would have started with jersey hijabs. I would have added them to my wardrobe first thing. <laughs> 
Moving on to chiffon hijabs. Chiffon hijabs are made from a very lightweight, non-stretchy, often transparent sheer fabric, um, but they're so elegant <laughs> and I love them. This is a very good example of your typical chiffon hijab. See, it's quite sheer. I find that it's a lot harder to style chiffon hijabs if you are a beginner and completely new to styling hijabs. It took me almost seven years <laughs> to figure out how to style a chiffon hijab. And a chiffon hijab, I'm really good at it now, uh, but um, it did take me a hot minute to get there. I struggled with styling chiffon hijabs and I hated them for the longest time. But now that I know how to work with one, I absolutely love it because of how chic and elegant they look. Please don't get scared by chiffon hijabs. Maybe you are just way more skilled than I am and you will have no issues with chiffon hijabs. But I feel like every hijabi should have a chiffon hijab or a couple of them in her wardrobe. I also have um, this chiffon hijab that is a lot less transparent. Um, it has a little bit of a crink crinkle texture to it. I love the way it looks. Um, these hijabs are very popular in Turkey right now, so I got mine there. I don't know where you can buy them online, so but I also love these because they're not see-through um, and you can easily style them in a single layer over your head just like this one um, and you won't be able to see through them while with this hijab, this type of chiffon hijab, you definitely will be able to see your hair through them if you're not wearing an undercap. Not so much with this type. So I absolutely love these, but I'm sorry I don't have a link to share. I usually go for chiffon hijabs when I need to look a little bit more put together or when I'm going out or I need to look dressed up. I pair them with dresses uh, to get that elegant look. So somehow all of my chiffon hijabs, majority of them were given as gifts. Uh, so I haven't purchased any chiffon hijabs myself. Um, and the ones that I did purchase, I purchased them in small shops in Turkey. But um, if you wanted a recommendation, of course, Lala hijabs, uh, they launched a new line of chiffon hijabs just earlier this year so you can definitely go ahead and check them out and they were kind enough to name one of the hijabs after me this is a veronica hijab and i believe it's still for sale look at this beautiful gorgeous blue color um i absolutely love it um I check them out. They have the most gorgeous and great quality chiffon hijabs that will last for the years to come. Of course, I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. So at this stage in my hijab journey, after doing it for seven straight years, I can confidently say that I know how to work with uh, with chiffon hijabs and I absolutely love them. I love how they look. And um, I own about uh, 10 of them and I use them all the time. Let's talk about sports hijabs. If you are an active woman, like I am, if you love to work out, if you love to go hiking, if you like um, doing just active things, um, if you have young kids, you go to playgrounds and you just want to be comfortable and not worry about your hijab, um, sports hijab is something that you definitely need. I always wanted to have a sports hijab and way back when, when the Nike came out with a sports hijab, I, I, I bought it right away. And now that I own a modest activewear brand, I design and produce and sell sports hijabs. Um, so um, you can have, you can buy an instant hijab like this, which you basically just pull over your head and then it feels like you're barely wearing anything or it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything at all. It is very breathable, yet not see-through. Um, and it's just very cooling fabric. So you can be active, go on your hikes, work out um, outdoors or in the mixed environment um, and you will feel very, very comfortable. So I have like 20 of them and I love them. I have them in different colors because with sports hijabs, like when you're being active, 
you don't want to be fussing with your hijab or trying to fix your hijab or feel weighed down by your hijab. You just want it out of the way so you can do your thing. So currently, um, I am rebranding. I am changing the name of my modest activewear brand and we are running an outlet clearance sale. So these hijabs are now up to 80% off, which comes to $11.80 in ZD, which is like under 10 USD. It's it's a bargain. So these ones are very cheap right now just because we're clearing out the store to make room for new collections and new designs under the new name. So yeah, they are great. I'm going to leave the link in the description. If you don't like that instant hijab egg look, <laughs> like a lot of women like to call that, I don't mind it. I would rather be comfortable and I do feel like I look, I look good in them. But a lot of women might not agree with me and that's fine. You can also wear a shawl-like sports hijabs. They don't have many of them on the market. I will be releasing my own one soon. But this is one of the samples that we've done last year. And like, once again, it's very breathable and it's very cooling fabric. And you basically can wear that and get all the benefits of a sports hijab but you can style it however way that you like to you know what looks good on you uh, i also have this hijab i tried another fabric it's very soft um it's another sports hijab that has like that moisture wicking fabric that really helps you stay cool while you're working out this is something this hijab i'll be launching next year inshallah but yes a sports hijab is a must in my opinion if you are one of those active muslimas where you love to be active you love to work out you take care of yourself and of course in order for you to do that really well you have to be comfortable and if that's one of your priorities then i promise you investing in a sports hijab will just help you <laughs> up level your game and it'll help you enjoy exercising a lot more just because you won't feel weighed down or restricted by your hijab so definitely check them out honestly if you are a beginner this is all you need you need a few jersey hijabs, you need a few chiffon hijabs, and if you are an active muslima, go for a sports hijab or a couple of them, of course. So that's pretty much, that will get you sorted. <laughs> that, you know, if you have a few neutral colors um, of hijabs that just go with everything, I recommend going, I'm not, I, I'm not a fan of a black hijab, so I only have a black hijab that's sports hijab. Other than that, I don't wear black. But if you like black hijabs, you can go for a black hijab, you can go for a brown or a beige, something that's neutral and something that will you can pair with absolutely everything in your wardrobe. I recommend go opening up your wardrobe and seeing what clothes you have there and then that'll help you narrow down the colors of the hijab that you need to invest in. Um, and that's it, you can just purchase at least one hijab color that goes with almost everything in your wardrobe and then you can save up and um get another um i personally would recommend saving up and purchasing a good quality hijab because trust me it feels like you're saving a lot of money by purchasing of aliexpress for example but you're just getting something that was made out of a very bad quality material that will lose color will that like the fibers of that fabric will break it's not gonna last it feels like you are saving money but you're not really because it's gonna wear out very quickly and soon you have to buy another one or you could have just bought a good quality hijab and it would have lasted you for years to come so that's my philosophy on that because we already wearing a lot of fast fashion items and um, a lot of our clothes do end up in landfills. So I personally believe that it's very important to invest in a good quality hijab made from a good quality fabric that'll last, that'll hold color, that will serve you for the long time. Um, and you can just wear it for years to come. So that's just 
my opinion. Um, and you can also reach out to your Muslim friends. And you might be in your rivet or in your hijabi, and you might have a handful of Muslim friends who you've connected with. You can always reach out to them and ask if they have any hijabs they would like to donate. You can explain your situation and say that maybe you are a student or you can't afford uh, buying hijabs right now, but you want to start wearing the hijab um, and ask them if they have any hijabs to donate. Just the other day, I've donated some of my hijabs to a new Muslim sister who is um, starting to wear the hijab um, and... I had spare hijabs and I was I felt really good about doing that. Um, so if you have spare hijabs and you know that one of your friends wants to start wearing hijab, you can always offer to donate and I tr uh, like trust me, you're gonna feel good. You're gonna help them on their hijab journey. It's just amazing all the way around. Um, I have a couple of bonus tips. So if you're new hijabi. Those three types of hijabs, it honestly, is everything you need. But if you live in a hotter climate, in a colder climate, I have a couple of extra suggestions for you. Let's start with a hot climate. When I first became a hijabi, <laughs> the question I get asked over and over again is like, don't you feel hot as a hijabi? Dressed like this, don't, don't you feel hot? Well, I do. We all feel hot in the heat, that's just how things work. <laughs> but there's definitely a way to be comfortable or as comfortable as you can be if you're a hijabi um, in the summer, in the heat. Uh, right now it's spring in New Zealand um, and we're heading into summer, so it's gonna get hot and toasty very soon. And I just came back from Turkey where uh, I've endured a 40 degrees Celsius weather, so, I've been <laughs> in the very hot, I experienced a very hot summer in Turkey. So I have some tips and some materials that would be great if you're starting to wear hijab in the summer or you just live in a hotter climate. Cotton and bamboo hijabs is the way to go. <laughs> That's what helped me. It worked. If it worked for me, it will work for you. Natural fibers are lightweight and breathable. And of course, that'll help your comfort level in the summer if you're a hijabi. So this is a bamboo hijab that I purchased in Turkey. If you scroll <laughs> through my Instagram, you'll see me wearing it all the time in Turkey. It's very, very lightweight. Um, it feels like it's feather light. It's so, so nice. And it has a nice structure to it. It's not um, very stretchy, but it's just Levidor. That's the name of the brand. If you want to look it up, this is bamboo hijab. I have like so many of them. I'm not even sure how many I have, but I bought plenty. I definitely have a handful in different colors um, that I can wear in the summer every single day and can pair with a lot of my outfits and this is a good example of a pure cotton hijab same it has that woven texture to it and it's very lightweight and it's very very breathable this one has a little bit more structure but um I absolutely loved wearing this as well in the heat of the summer you can barely feel it on your head and also I would only style my bamboo and cotton hijabs like this. One single layer over the top of my head and then just very loosely around the neck area. So there's a lot of breeze coming through. I would like pin it just like so, but then I wouldn't make it like, see, there is good coverage when you pin it, but then I wouldn't, I would only wrap it very, very loosely around my neck to allow for a lot of airflow. And that helped me so, so much. Um, I'm gonna in include a few pictures here so you can see how I styled my bamboo hijab and my cotton hijabs in the summer. So that's, that would make me feel very, very comfortable. So if you know that you are starting to wear the hijab, right before the heat of the summer, or you already live in a warmer climate, then 
definitely look into investing into some super lightweight bamboo and cotton hijabs because trust me it they will make all the difference and if you live in a colder climate which is a lot easier <laughs> because um you can probably just wear jerseys they'll give you just enough courses but you live in an extra cold climate like my winters in russia <laughs> or canada has a very similar similar winter to russian winter that i'm very familiar with um, and seven years ago i went to turkey in the winter and it was really really cold minus 20 degrees snow everywhere <laughs> so because like um my husband's have their families in Cap from Cappadocia, so it's a little bit more elevated, um, which means it's a lot colder than the south of Turkey, for example. But the type of hijab I wore there um, is just amazing. Pashmina. Pashmina hijabs. They are very soft and still quite lightweight, but they are a lot thicker. Um, and it's made from a very light cashmere wool, um, genuine, genuine pashmina. And it keeps you very, very warm and very comfortable and very, very cozy. And once again, I found that it's very easy to style and wear. Um, if you're in a warmer climate, that won't really work for you. Right now, I only have three pashmina hijabs and I don't wear them most of the time, but I still have them for when I will be in a colder climate. Maybe I go to the mountains in New Zealand winter. Um, I'd be taking them with me. I have this one and this one. And this one, these are my warmer hijabs. I won't get rid of them, even though I don't wear them often, because it's a good thing to have when you are in a colder climate. <laughs> they might be a, on a bit of a pricier side, but once again, you only need one or two to keep you covered and warm and cozy in the winter. So definitely a good investment to make if you live in a colder climate. That's everything I have for you. This video it turned out to be longer than I expected, but I really wanted to get into the nitty gritty details. I really wish that I had someone make that video that had everything I needed to know as a new hijabi, everything I needed to have and broke down the materials and the accessories that I need. Um, I would have really appreciated that. It would have helped me a lot. I didn't need, and I wouldn't need to figure it out all on my own way back when. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up comment below and let me know if you have any suggestions for any future videos please leave them in the comments below because i want to produce content that's interesting to you that will help you learn and help you on your hijab journey or on your journey towards a last one or the Allah. so please 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 leave your questions leave your suggestions in the comments below i would really really appreciate that if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and click bell to get notified whenever I upload. Um, I am starting to upload on a schedule. Um, so I'm aiming to have a new video out every Saturday. Anyways, I want to, I will have a video out every single Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you have a great day or great evening wherever you are in the world right now. Um, Salamu alaikum and I'll catch you later.